Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Starting in Outlook 2010, you use the ribbon in all areas within the Outlook program. If using Outlook 2007, when you open or create a new Outlook 2007 item such as a mail message, task, or appointment, they will open in a separate window that contains the ribbon at the top for item command access. The ribbon is broken into tabs of command button groups. You can click on a tab to see the command button groups that are available. Within each command button group are the buttons, drop downs, spinner boxes, and other selection items that you can use in order to perform tasks. Also note that for users who are more familiar with the old dialog box functionality, you can click the dialog box launcher buttons that appear in the lower right corner of many command groups on the currently displayed or active tab within the ribbon in order to open a dialog box of options that are available for that particular group. Now in addition to the primary tabs that are available for you to use, you may also see special contextual tabs that will appear within the ribbon when you have a particular type of object selected within an Outlook item. You will see contextual tabs appear, for example, if you have either a picture, table, diagram, drawing, or chart selected within your mail message. Now, the command groups that then appear on the contextual tabs will contain functions that are directly related to the type of object selected. You can make contextual tabs disappear by simply clicking away from the selected object within the item window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.